but they're captive to the lies that Donald Trump is telling. The seven in mandate is an authoritative model of leading that celebrates taking dominion from the high place to set the agenda that forms nations and society. But Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 20, 25, 27, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to be great or become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. The meaning of the Greek word translated as lord it over can be translated as exercise dominion over, overcome or exercise lordship over. The goal for many who adhere to this teaching often becomes to seize the seat of power and force what they think the kingdom of God should look like in their mountain of influence. One of the greatest challenges to the 7M theology is the life and teachings of Jesus himself. He was born into a world desperately looking for a political leader, yet he firmly stated that he was not that leader. If the understanding of cultural mountaineering, so to speak, and, and political takeover was foundational to the kingdom of God coming, don't you think Jesus would have given us a different model to follow? In John chapter 6, verse 15, he says, Therefore, when Jesus perceived that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he departed again to the mountain by himself alone. Here we see the only mountain Jesus scale was to pray and remove himself from those who were trying to force him to take power through political force. Digging deeper and, and thinking about the metaphors Jesus used to talk about change and transformation, they were about inside out transformation, not power over dominion. And finally, at the end of Jesus's life, when he stood before Pilate, he could not have been more clear about the nature and how God's kingdom come and even how it came. In John 18, 36, he declared, my kingdom, sovereignty and, and royal power is not derived from this world or its inhabitants. Listen, it is not derived from this world or its inhabitants. My kingdom, if my kingdom were, were of this world, my servants would fight so that I would not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not sourced from this realm. Now, Jesus understood that politics and policy don't change people's heart. 